Thank you, Craig. I'd like to start by thanking Chancellor St. John, who I was able to meet last night, President Bell, who I talked to on the phone during the process I met last night, and the trustees that are here. Thank you for them giving me this opportunity. This is an incredible opportunity. I'd like to also thank all the people at the University of Buffalo, Coach Hurley, for giving me a shot out of high school and the administration there for taking a chance on a young coach without a lot of experience. All the people there, the players that played for us and, you know, played their hearts out for us and the community up there gave us great support to the point where our family said we, we weren't going to leave unless it was something special. So I, when I got the call from Greg, this is obviously something special. I, you know, I like to thank my wife, Crystal, Lexi, Jocelyn, and Brielle for being here. Brielle can't wait to move here, she just informed me. So we, uh, we met a lot of great Southern uh, hospitality last night with some supporters, and she kept commenting to me how, how nice they all were down here. So appreciate the uh, Southern hospitality right out of the gate. But we, it's been well documented, the um, cancer fight that our family's gone through with my wife. She's a fighter. She's been there for us the whole time. Our, our family's been through some trials over these last four years. She's kind of drawn us closer together, and I'm, I'm so glad and thankful they could be here with us. We've should I become a better man, a better husband, a better father through the uh, through the trials we've been through. So, thank you to them as well. But when I got I, we, we landed, we played in the NCAA tournament this past week, and we landed on Monday. I got you know your phone gets back in service, and there was a voicemail from on you know number I didn't know. So I listened to it once I got to the truck, and uh, or on my way to my truck, and it was. Craig Byrne from the University of Alabama wants me to call him back. So, I, so that's probably one of those calls I need to call back right away. I it was, thought it was a good sign when I put my bags in my truck to right to the car right next to us. Uh, it was a New York license plate, but it had, you know, Roll Tide, University of Alabama license plate holder. It was right next to my truck. I said, this might be a sign. So I call him back. He moves pretty quick. He uh, was up at our house the next day. And uh, listen, it was... We said we loved it at Buffalo. It was they were great to us. She beat cancer up there, and they, they we said if we were going to leave there, it had to be something special. The University of Alabama's really special. And, and when he called and we talked, the academic here, the, the institution, the tradition, the excellence. I mean, it's a national brand. The Alabama's, you know, obviously football is leading the way, and they they've been unbelievable and football program here is something that every sports team in the country, no matter what the sport is, can try to emulate. And I was fortunate to spend a little bit of time with Coach Saban here. I admired him from afar, respect the job he's done. It's been on every podcast, article, book I can get on him I've read. So now to be able to meet him, work at the same institution, and, and to go with everything here, it's just been unbelievable to have this opportunity. So. Said so we met some supporters last night, and then this morning, Greg gets me in the car. We, I think he's a little, he's early. I think because we were up late last night, he slept in till six today or something. But we get up here at seven, and we already got the. Uh, it's already stuff going on on campus early. The capstone men and women were out right in front of your mansion. You were telling me about all the pictures you get taken there, so I got to see it today. They had everything out. It was that was great. They had the Denny chimes going, the quad. Drive around Bryant Denny Stadium, which I've, I'm a huge football fan. I basically know, I'm a basketball junkie, a huge football fan. So I watched hundreds of games on a Saturday afternoon at the stadium. Can't wait to get in there and see a game live myself. But what an unbelievable campus! I, it's it's unreal. I mean, we're my wife's into gardening, the, the trees and everything here. It's beautiful. It's everything I thought it would be and more. So to get the tour of campus this morning, it just it like. It, it's it's getting better and better than even we thought it, uh, it would be. So to have this chance, I I just I want to thank everybody in here for giving me the shot on this thing. Now, as far as the basketball part of it goes, we're we're going to work our tail off to get this program. And again, I'm not I'm, I'm not one to oversell and under deliver, so I'm not making huge promises. But I, I'm going to say this: the football program set the standard of excellence around here at the highest possible level you could set. For anything, we're, we're going to work our tails off every day to get this thing rolling in that direction. And I'm going to lean on Coach Saban and 
Greg, and we're going to get some advice from them. We're going to try to get this thing rolling. We, we've got, he talked about our three core values. We, we established a culture playbook a couple years ago, and we, we talk about max effort. That's everything. That's every workout, every weight room session, every practice. Our guys are going to give max effort. We're going to, we're going to demand it out of them. We're, continuous growth is one. We're going to get better every day. We want to be better today than yesterday. We're going to get better. We're going to get guys that want to get in the gym and work on their own. The NCAA only allows us so many hours with the guys. If that's all the hours they want to put in, we're never going to get to where we need to get. We're going to get a culture that they're in getting better every day. And that, that goes academics-wise, you know, throwing themselves as young men off it. We're, we're going to get better. So we're going to give max effort, continuous growth. And then we talk about selfless love. We're going to teach our guys, young men, how to love each other, love this community, treat each other well. You know, I, I, I see Coach Sanderson here. I think of coaches that have coached a long time, and, done it. and I'm a basketball junkie at, at a really high level. When I got into the sport in fifth grade, I couldn't get enough of it. Saved up my paper out money to buy my own TV so I could watch games every night. So that was back in the heyday when I loved myself some Antonio McDyson, Latrell Sprewell. Big shot, Bob, Robert Ory. So I, I look. I was an Alabama fan a little bit growing up, and I, it's great to see Coach Sanderson here. But when you think about coaches, I tell my my kids, my players. I don't have any sons, so I get 15 of them, and they change every year. But if all I do is teach you how to throw a ball through a ring, I'm wasting a lot of time. We, we have to develop character in our guys, and, and I firmly believe this: the better young men you have, the better basketball team you're going to have because they're they're going to come together. They're going to play the right way. They're going to love each other, and we're going to teach them how to do that. So those are our three core values that we're going to institute here, the University of Alabama's men's basketball team, and we're going to get this thing rolling in the right direction. As far as our style of play goes, if you watch Buffalo play, we were number one in the country in transition points per game this year. We're going to get up and down. We're, we play, we've got a blue collar mentality. We give out this hard hat award every game. We value blue collar play as the people of Alabama will. We think taking charges, diving on the floor for loose balls, we, we chart that stuff. We value it. We want deflections. We value guys that get into the ball and pressure it. Our defense is going to be in your face. It's going to be, they're going to play hard. And then we're going to get up and down the floor. We were fourth in scoring in the country last year, I believe, and fifth this year, and number one in number of 80-point games last year with Villanova number two. We, we've, we've put some numbers up on the offensive end, but it's all based on playing hard on the defensive end, and that, that's what we built, and we're going to establish it in practice every day, and that's how you get it. So, listen, I can't wait to get started here. I've already met with a couple players. I met with Kyra. I met with Herb this morning. I'm going to meet with the rest of them. We've got a meeting with the entire team at, right shortly after this. We're going to establish the culture from day one. We're going to get started on individual workouts next week. And we're going to hit the ground running. I, I cannot wait. The people out here are already embracing us. We've got a lot of talent in this state. We can't wait to get them, get them here to the University of Alabama. We're going to supplement it. Like he said, we can recruit across the country. This has a national brand. When we need to supplement it, we'll go get players from wherever we got to get them to put a, put, a, put a team on the floor that can compete at the highest level in the SEC. We've got great tradition here. I, I didn't realize that. that we're second in the SEC play in number of wins in college basketball in the history of the SEC. We're second in winning percentage. They've got some great tradition here. We're, we're going to get that thing back to the top of the SEC. We're going to work hard to do it for you every day. We're going to give you a product you guys like to watch on the floor and what you want to see. And we're going to fill the stands up with people that are excited to watch Alabama basketball. So I can't wait to get started. Roll, roll Tide. Thank you.